talking with Albert about things you, you don't exercise. My next guest is a young man who was written up in this uh, May issue of Sports Illustrated as a surprise winner of probably the most incredible athletic event I've ever heard of. Uh, it takes place in Hawaii every year, and it's called the Ironman Tricathlon. Three events, obviously. It involves a two-and-a-half-mile ocean swim, mm. then a 112-mile bicycle race, followed immediately by a 26-mile marathon run. Oh. And this guy finished all three events in less than 12 hours. Would you welcome Tom Warren? Congratulations. That is sensational. Oh, thank you. I was reading this this afternoon, and just, you could hear the audience when I was announcing the events. The ocean swim would have been enough. Then the 112 mile bicycle race. Correct. Followed by the regular marathon. Right. Why does one take all of this on? Um, because it's there? I mean, is that the... I, I didn't make the decision until a week before, yeah? to tell you the truth. Uh, I was a little reluctant. Uh, I do those type of things almost right. every day. So, uh, basically, a race of that sort is better for me since I'm distance-oriented than, a, right. say, a sprint. But how about the two-and-a-half-mile ocean swim? That's not the small... Uh... A small swim in itself. Actually, that's my best event, and um, in that particular race, uh, it was weighted much, much less, because yeah. we're only in the water an hour. You're on the bicycle over six hours, and you're running for twelve hour. miles. Now, I understand that wasn't one of the geared bicycles. I mean, you can. Oh yeah, I, I've got a, sure. I've got a ten speed. Oh, I see. Oh well, well no wonder. Makes it all easier. Well. I'm sorry, Tom. I thought it was a one-speed bike, and the whole. <laughs> well, one, I, I don't know where I got that. Is somebody told me that? And I said I don't understand that. Nobody could get into one gear and pedal for six hours. You'd go crazy because bicycling is is a very grueling, grueling type of sport. Now, how do you practice for that? Just bicycle? Uh, I've done some touring, and I think that really helps in this type of ride because it's um, there's no drafting. You can't uh, get behind the other competitor right. and and use their slipstream type of thing. And uh, so I've ridden from uh, Vancouver, Canada to San Diego, and I've ridden to Cabo San Lucas. And uh, when I got into the race, I realized that that was a big advantage because you're out there alone. Right. And uh, the weather and the environments play a big factor. Bicycling has never been as big a sport here as it is, say, in Europe, where it is uh, as big as football is here or baseball over there. It's really considered a, an outstanding competition. I don't think people really realize the the athletic prowess that somebody has to have. You really have to be an athlete to do that. Right. Um, well, it's then there's, and you have to know the machine, too. Yeah. There's now, was this kind of, was there a prize for this, or? Uh, uh, yeah, I brought it along. And was, I haven't spent it yet. <laughs> Here's my prize. That's nice. This is it? <laughs> <laughs> Tom, would you like to buy some land in Jersey? I have a... No. It says 1979 Hawaiian Ironman tri triathlon. Triathlon. 2.4 mile swim, 112 mile bike ride, and 26.2 the standard uh, marathon run. And uh, it's, it's very nice. That head's kind of pretty. Yeah, it's kind of a little. It's an octagonal uh, bolt. bolt there. And, uh, Indicative of the competition. And, uh, and and one of the screws is missing from the bottom of the. Uh, but outside. <laughs> Wouldn't you have thought, Tom, I'm not putting this down at all, uh, but wouldn't you think they would have given you a little a larger trophy or something like that? They gave me another trophy also, ah. but this is my favorite. This is your favorite, huh? The Nautilus Fitness Center uh, gave me a trophy. Yeah. Is this going to be an event that they're going to do? Is this the first one? I've never heard of this before. It's the second one. The second one? Well, what was the prize the first year? If this is the... Uh... <laughs> Smaller one. Are you going to go into it? Are you going to go into it next year? Uh, I'll just wait and see how it works out. If yeah. Somebody said you were in the service. Now, did you compete when you were in the, on this type of thing, with marathons and? No, I was in the uh, service as an accountant. Uh, as an accountant. Right. Remember that war? <laughs> yes, the famous war of the CPAs. Yeah. Uh, CPA. I don't understand this. CPAs usually do not get applauded uh, on their show. Uh, but obviously, you've been in training, as you say, you've done for these things a good part of your life, because no one gets up and runs a marathon run without gradually working well, up to that. Well, I swam at uh, USC. Right. And then um, I got into the bar business in San Diego, and then... Is that good training for this, is it? real good training. It uh, taught me how to start running and uh, <laughs> keep my health. 
Uh, and then I just, uh, I a always have liked to run. Yeah. And uh, then as the marathons have gotten more popular, I started that. And then the bicycling, touring just kind of fell That's in That's really place. an incredible feat. You must read the article because, uh, uh, as you say, for, for something, it's not a professional thing. You don't get a lot of money. You do it because it's, it's the challenge. Someone said you have a restaurant in San Diego, is that right? Correct. It's uh, Tug's Tavern. Tug's Tavern. San Diego. So far, they've applauded CPAs, Tug's Tavern, and... <laughs> Disease. Um, you, you, want, you said you went to school out here, UCLA? Uh, USC. USC. Oh, uh, that's, uh, that's a big mistake. That's a big mistake right there. Um, have you ever thought of uh, things like the Olympics or...? Well, that's, uh, that's, when I was going to SC, that was my goal. Right. But uh, that's out of sight now. It's a total different competition. Separation it's, for something uh, like this? It's more your pool swimming. Yeah. It's really a remarkable feat. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. And uh, we've got to talk to them about this next year and get a new one. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Congratulations again. You said, uh, you said you have an annual swim down uh, San Diego Way? Uh, Correct. Um, we have a swim, run, swim, run. Right. And it's in September 15th, and it's one of the largest of its kind in the world. Thanks, Thanks for being here tonight. I think he deserves this. Yes, yes. You're, you're just using buy, yourself, buy yourself a screw to go with that award. <laughs> That's right. Fix it. Inflation. <laughs> you get a lot of mileage out of the ten dollar bill, aren't you? Haven't parted with it yet. That way I can deduct it. Ethel's disco album, thank you, darling, for being here tonight. It's a pleasure. And Albert, thank happy you. birthday, a little bit belated, but then I'm much. sorry about the gift, but all the stores were closed. All right. <laughs> Tomorrow night, Diane Carroll, Christopher Reeve, Tony Delia, and Nono Janarian Marie Earl. Thank you. Good night.